Here are my two beetle setups. Um, I choose to keep my beetles in chest freezers. I think chest freezers are the best way to go. Um, here is a small one. As you can see, it has a vent hole on each side, right there, right there. And then I cut out and put a piece of plexiglass so I can see what's going on inside. Uh, we'll go ahead and lift it up. Not much activity in this one. I have a real small colony in here. Um, there's the bedding. I always put styrofoam. There's the temperature and humidity readings. Uh, the aluminum tape is taped up there, so supposedly that the beetles cannot crawl over. It's too slippery for them. This one right here is my bigger freezer. And actually all this one was was it was a freezer stand up that I laid down on its side so there's many options you can do. Right here a big vent hole on the top. There's a side vent hole. And then on this side I have another vent hole but attached to the vent hole is a bathroom fan and it sucks the air out and I have it running out outside if the humidity gets too high. Go ahead and lift it up. Inside, a bunch of styrofoam. Um, got my temperature gauge. I got a, a, a reptile heater to keep them warm. I like to keep the temperature around 80 to 85 degrees. It's a little warm, but that's what I found has worked best. And uh, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple to take care of. Over here, this is how I dry my food out, my scraps for the beetles. I put it, raise it off the ground. I never do it off the ground. Um, I get a piece of meat, scrap meat that I usually, from the skulls. And then I just turn the fan on and the air blows on it. And I try to keep it always off the ground um, to prevent other insects uh, getting onto your meat.